Today I'm going to make a little video about uh, survival equipment. And uh, I, I went and bought some today. And, uh, and I'm going to show you a little bit of what I bought. Give you an idea of things that you can get to help you. Okay, these the first thing I'm going to show is these books. And uh, this one's uh, SAS uh, Desert Survival. And it's going to teach you. Uh, it's going to teach you uh, how to survive in the desert. So, and I actually know very little about surviving the desert. So, I know you need water, but how to get it and whatever. Maybe this tells it in the book. Probably uh, getting a drink out of cactus if there is any, because uh, yeah, I don't see any cactus there. So, desert don't exactly mean uh, America's uh, desert. So, uh, then there's scorpions and all that stuff. Alright, let's not make the video too long. So, people will still be interested. Anyways, Mountain Arctic Survival. And I looked a little bit in there. And it shows you how to make uh, igloos and stuff. How to survive on the... I guess this guy, the same guy made all these, or these two books. And then, I got Medical Wild Plants. You know what you can use to uh, survive off plants if you need to if you don't have a hospital or something that you need to and this is made by the same uh, person here I guess I'll tell you their names or, or show you the names on the videos there so that you can look for these books too uh, and this one's uh, edible wild plants and uh, I guess they had already made these and revised them and then Something I was watching a video and and I believe the videos were primitive ways of survival and it, that was pretty good videos that I went so I went out and got me a book besides uh, watching his video he did show a lot of stuff himself uh, let's see who this is okay Richard and Linda Jameson okay uh, primitive skills and crafts outdoors guide to shelters tools weapons tracking survival and more all right so there's all the books that i got in the prices wise let me show you each of the price okay that was 12.99 for that primitive book the edible plants was 22.99 the wild uh plants for medicine was 22.99 uh the mountain survival book was $14.99 the desert book was $16.99 alright now let's switch over here to this backpack uh, it is made by Fox Tactical and it is called the Advanced uh, Mountaineer Pack I have another backpack I didn't bring it out here with me but it's actually a little bit smaller in this one uh, I'll unhook all these. these all these straps and stuff back here you know they, they just have these little clip things and uh oh what are all those straps for is probably like to to put down your tent that you might be carrying with you or your or sleeping bag and and if you look it's got all these velcro uh little pieces where you can put stuff and you know maybe shells who knows whatever you're carrying with you and uh this also you can pick this bag up by this handle and carry it around like that I believe it's got two handles on each side too. See, uh, there's a handle here, and there's the handle at the top. You can put your hand there, and another one on the other side. Okay. Anyways, the top also has the little clip places where you can put stuff uh, in the little loops, and this top comes up. It's like a rain cover. And oh yeah, let me show you the before that. Show you how that it. There's the uh, the straps that goes around your shoulders, and there's the one that goes around your uh, chest. The strap goes across ways, and then there's a real big one here at the bottom. Uh, that one goes across your waist, uh, so it so like the straps won't be sliding off of your arms. That's why they always put a strap in the middle. I know I used to carry backpacks a lot, so uh, that can come in pretty handy because I tell you what, you get pretty tired of the. Things slipping off and that down. 
off and on and off of you. Okay, so anyways, first thing that I got here was, here's a, uh, it's one of these fur hats, and it's kind of got like fall colors. Lay it down here so the light can show it a little bit better. That's the fall colors of it. And it's got the little fur things, and these little ear flat things can go down and, and strap to the, the little buttons. It ain't fur all the way in it, but it's fur at the ear parts, and it's, then it's this uh, other material. I don't know what it is. Uh, polyester. It says right there in the side. And the next thing I got is this uh, dark camouflage long sleeve shirt. Alright, here's one of the sleeves there. And I think it's got like air vents under the armpit area right here. And uh, there's the camouflage for the other part. And what's inside, I don't know. It looks like maybe something to be, keep you warm. So that's the camouflage. It's like the jungle camouflage. And then I bought this other wilderness uh, hat. It's just like the other one, except this one's got the uh, woodland uh, camouflage on it and as you can see the the flap right here is uh, is folded down instead of up there so that was I bought two hats and then I got this other black kind of camouflage it's just like the other camouflage one but it's like a darker camouflage there we go pull the sleeves out here and let's see who they made by. Oh, there it is, Russell. It's all this camouflage, but it got the bright yellow words there. Oh, here we go. I bought this uh, ideal for car, boat, or office. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, um, damn it, it's a um, first aid kit. There we go. There it is. First aid. So uh, bandages and sterile sponges and ice pack. And it was about 30 bucks. They had some in there that was like a hundred and something dollars. Uh, it's a little bit more money I want to spend right now. Uh, waterproof box, uh, tape, hand soap, uh, bandages, clean wipes, antiseptic alcohol wipes, triple antibiotics, first aid cream, pain relievers. Uh, pair latex gloves safety pins and uh, first aid instructions so it's got an instruction booklet in there too this is kind of what it looks like there for me what all the stuff is in there uh, everybody says everybody should carry a first aid kit in their vehicle so maybe I'll carry that one in my car and later on maybe I'll get one of them hundred dollar ones when I feel like uh, I got the money for it Okay, and here's some really dark camouflage pants. It's, it still would throw off some of the uh, vision of people trying to see you. You know, that's what you're trying to do is throw off your silhouette when you're in the woods. That's what camouflage is about. Anyways, I kind of like this dark color, so I bought a pair of those. Uh, bought them at... Uh, yeah, at the at the Army Navy store. That's where I got all the stuff at. It's, I'll show you right here, Army Navy, Indies Army Navy. So uh, that's where I got that. And then I bought this military uh, scarf. It folds all out. Uh, let's see if it says on there what it is. Oh, there it is. Chamois tactical desert scarf. Uh, so, anyways, I. I used to wear scarves around my neck when I'd ride my motorcycles and uh, wrap it around my face, uh, especially when it got cold out because it actually protected my neck. So anyways, I kind of like the colors that was on that. There was there was a few other colors, but this is the one I like the best. So uh, that's what I bought. And then I bought this American flag. It's like green and black. Uh, uh, hit bandana. Get it all unfolded here. Okay, it's still got the little thing on it. So, anyways, there's the stars and there's the stripes. 
Jesus. Olive dub flag bandana. Alright, Army Navy store. And it was three dollars. And how much was that? There we go. The, um, oh, that, that was twelve ninety nine that uh Shammy or Shamog tactical desert scarf. Okay. Is there anything else in here? Oh, he gave me a little booklet to write things in. It's an all-weather uh, little paper thing that they threw in there as a gift, I guess. Well, I would try to show you inside the bag, but it's, the light's not too good here. Anyways, here's a, there's the little thing that wraps around here. You can tighten it up. And there's a, some straps down in here that's attached to the side. And if you look to the side here, you got zippers and little pouches here on the sides. Uh, turn it around here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of reflecting my shadow, too. There's not a whole lot of things. You just put all your big stuff in there. And you, and you see what all I pulled out so far. Uh, so a lot of that fit in that big bag. And there was still plenty of room uh, left in the bag, even with all that stuff. So, and then, like I said, you can attach your uh, sleeping bag and, uh, and tent and stuff out here on the outside with these straps on the outside. Uh, okay, here we go. There's a zipper here on the side. You unzip it. And for a, uh, a pouch here in the sides, probably one on the other side, too. Yep, there is. There's the zip, uh, zipper. So, uh, that's going to be my new bag to carry around. And plus, I got another smaller backpack. And I got this little black uh, bag that I carry a lot of my little stuff with to work. Um, I, can't, I like to have a can opener and my spoon in there and, and what, I, what I used to eat with. So, I'll probably end up putting that in this bag if I go do me a... What's this zipper about? Okay, this whole flap can come down here in the front. Okay, it zips all the way down here, and it does on the other side, so the whole front flap can come down. All right. Well, thanks for the wa watching my video and a few uh, few survival things that I showed. Uh, Till the next video.